Jolita W. on Facebook asks, how can I keep my thyroid healthy? Do heavy metals influence your thyroid? Is it better to take pig's hormone or synthetic hormone? How do I keep my thyroid healthy? Well, actually, um, the thing about the body we have to keep in mind is the body is a complete system and nothing is separate. It's not like my heart. It's like I wouldn't do something for my heart that would not also affect my kidneys because they all work together, my heart, my lungs, my kidneys, my blood vessels, uh, every aspect, brain, it's all working together because it's all living in the same biochemical pool, the, the same biochemistry. So if I'm constipated and I'm absorbing excess poisons, it's going to affect every part of my body. It may not be as obvious in all of them, but it's affecting every part of my body. So how do I keep my thyroid healthy? Is keep me healthy, take care of me. So how do I do that? Specifically the thyroid. What is the thyroid? The thyroid is a mechanism to deliver iodine to the cells. Iodine is essential for mitochondrial function. The mitochondria are the parts of the cell, the or parts of the, in the cell are little organelles that are responsible for energy production. They take glucose and oxygen and they produce energy. And so in small organisms in, uh, in organisms in the fit in, in, in the um, in the ocean where they've got lots of iodine around they would they didn't need to have a thyroid but as as we got into higher organisms where you've got all these different cells um, we needed to have a mechanism by which to deliver iodine iodine is an essential element for life and uh, especially in higher forms in in cells that have mitochondria because iodine is amazing but anyway um, it needs to be delivered. And think about it. So someone who has a low functioning thyroid, a hypothyroid, right? Their energy is low. They sleep a lot. They gain weight. They can't lose weight. Their thinking becomes dull. What does that mean? That means the mitochondria are not getting enough energy. So basically, you've turned down the energy thermostat. If someone is hyperthyroid, then they're talking like this. and It's the opposite. They've got too much energy. Okay, it's got, got an excess of energy. And if someone is what we call euthyroid, they're right in the middle and they're functioning appropriately. They've got enough energy. One of the ways to know whether or not your thyroid is functioning is by your body temperature. If you get up in the morning, before you get out of bed, put a, put a thermometer, an axillary thermometer, and take your temperature. Make sure it's, try not to get the digital ones. Try to get the old-fashioned ones that actually would rise and fall. Take your temperature for five minutes. If you don't have one of those, it's digital, they just, it'll be digital. It'll click off as soon as it's done. And you do this five, six days in a row and then take the average. If your average is less than um, uh, 97.8, then you are subclinically hypothyroid. Okay, that means subclinically means you don't know it, right? But you're hypothyroid. Your body is not, does not have enough thyroid. Okay, this is true for most of us. And the reason it is is because iodine is in the same class of chemicals as fluoride, chloride, and bromide, all of which are just throughout our environment. We talk about that another time, but bromide is in baked goods, chlorides in your water, and fluorides in your toothpaste and your water. So, uh, anyway, they take the place of iodine. So, if you consider the fact that we don't have enough iodine in our food because we don't eat, we don't eat sea vegetables, um, and then we've got all these other ones, we're all walking around, even though our blood test may come out normal, you might feel sluggish and you go to the doctor and they say, oh, your thyroid's normal, don't worry about it. But the reason your blood test is looking normal is because it's showing that, oh, you do have T4 and T3. You know, it's not showing you that it's not a functional T4 and T3. Instead of having T4, instead of having four iodines, it's got maybe one bromide, one chloride, and two iodines. It's not functional. It can't work. So yeah, you may, your blood test may look normal, but you're not. So a really subtle way of checking it is with your thermometer. So anyway, take iodine. There's different ways of getting iodine. There's Lugol solution, etc. You try to get that to fill up your tank. Once your tank is filled up, you can easily maintain it by uh, getting uh, uh, eating good sea vegetables and wakame which you might know of as a miso soup has got um, is able to concentrate iodine from the ocean 3,000 times greater the concentration is 3,000 times greater than in the surrounding water which means that it's a very very important source of bioavailable iodine